Small furry caterpillars are causing some big issues in Wisconsin counties right now. Experts say they're spongy moths and they pop up every few years, but the lack of rain makes the issue worse. Yeah, these moths are an invasive species. They can easily kill some trees. Rachel Perry caught up with one homeowner who has spent thousands trying to just keep them away. Is he still moving? Ew, why? Oh my God, I'm so grown. A furry critter is taking over some Rock County homes. Every time I come out here, like every 10 minutes, I'll find more and then just smush them. Brittany McGuire says it all started last year when the hairy caterpillars started popping up around their Edgerton property. I, I still remember seeing it the first time because they're really hairy and it's really disgusting. So I saw it and I took pictures of it and I'm like, you know, what is this? They're called spongy moths and quickly turn a full tree bare. I do not want them to turn into moths and eat the rest of our trees. This tree last year was completely defoliated. Um, there were no leaves left, but this year you can see the holes, there's holes in the leaves, but there there's still leaves on the tree. Experts say one moth soon becomes a thousand. Third to a thousand caterpillars that hatch out of it. Meaning killing them early could save you hundreds of dollars next year. Um, and depending on how bad the outbreak is, you might need several options to really kind of make it work. Around $3,000 later, McGuire says she knows firsthand. So we knew um, what to do this year. So we had them inject the soil earlier, which killed a lot of the small caterpillars, but we still have quite a few. In the meantime, they do what they can. Okay, yep, you got it, baby. You got it. You got it, girl. In Rock Go. County, Rachel Perry, yep. 27 News. Okay. Well, the DNR says the moths can cause a rash if they do come in contact with your skin. The good news is they could be gone by next year or the following. For more information, head to our website, wkow.com.